Your days are numbered. You outlawed sorcery because you think you have other means of sustaining yourself. You banished witchcraft because you want to please your children. I am going to prove to you that you are nothing without sorcery and the witchcraft. Yes, who is there? The royal cook. Please open the door. A moment, please. What shock? A beautiful queen like you demanded for pounded yam and bitter leaves soup for breakfast. The breakfast is ready on the royal dining table, but I'm yet to come to terms with the contrast. You are a fool. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but pounded yam for breakfast is strange. Get out of my sight! Please don't be angry with me. Please. I'm sorry. Your Majesty, I had a revelation and it is not clear to me we are walking a tightrope in this kingdom. What revelation? Omelabo. Omelabo of Abo Meme is no longer living in his original abode. I can tell you authoritatively that Omelabo has departed from the ancient safe. Well, who told you that? The messenger must spread. The messenger masquerade of Abom in the kingdom appeared in the course of my ministration. He was the one that gave the information. I believe the messenger masquerade, Your Majesty, because all the things that happened in this kingdom in the last few years would not have happened if Omelabo were to be in the ancient self. Hmm. This is not happening. This is not happening. So, so where is Omelabo as we speak? According to the messenger masquerade, Omelabo now lives in the forest of Opene. My greatest problem right now, Your Majesty, is that I cannot even go there. 
because Omelabo is angry with me. Angry with you? What for? They said I did nothing when our own Oganigwe sent his wife away from this kingdom for voicing the truth that would have saved the land. The messenger masquerade told you that? Yes, your majesty. The messenger masquerade said all this. The only person that can go to Melabo as we speak is the son of Mopu. <laughs> Amazing. Are you all right? Mopu has no son. She was a barren woman. With all due respect, your majesty, the right thing for us to say is that our own Oganigwe was an impotent man. Mezo, how dare you speak evil of the dead? Oganigwe married a barren woman who could not bear me a child. Mopun was not a barren woman. When she was fired from this kingdom, she met a man of Imezi that married her briefly. That man from Imezi did in just one month what our Oganigwe was unable to do in years. He got Mopu pregnant and she bore him a son. That son of hers is the only one that can appear before Omelabo and leave. Omezo, where do you get all these stories? Mopu is still alive, Your Majesty. She actually wrote me a letter that I still have in my custody. The same visitor from Imezi who saw the revelation. The same man you made part of the delegation to Iba Kingdom. He is the son of Mopu. And I can tell you that he remains the only one that can see Omelabo and leave. You. Strange things are happening in the land, my queen. Strange things. Your Majesty, who is this woman? Who is this woman that has the temerity to walk into the throne room and sit right on the legs of the king? Ah, uh, her name is Nkiruka. Sorry I couldn't tell you because it was urgent. But I already sent some elders of the land to Abanabo to perfect all the protocols of her bride price. She is my queen. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable, Your Majesty. You mean to tell me that you did all that without telling me? Well, it's my life. And it's all about me. Oh, don't you worry. Everything has been perfected down. She now lives with me as my queen. Well, hey, uh, this is Omezu here. He's the only sorcerer we have left here. Uh, we have him because uh, his own witchcraft is positive. He does no evil. But don't worry. You get used to him and his holiness in the palace. Oh, for me, sir. This is bothering you. I mean, your father has tried to remain single all these years after the untimely death of your mother. So many men would have been married the very year they buried their wives. But he didn't. He stayed single. If he had decided to, to get another wife for himself now, I think you should be happy. Yes. Something tells me that there is something weird about the woman my father decided to marry with unexplainable urgency. Word. I mean, how do you mean word? When my father was introducing the woman to me, there was that same evil Jigida hanging round her neck. And then the Jigida was changing from one color to the other, right on her neck. I'm sorry, my princess, but 
Do you ever think that such a thing is possible? I mean, a woman with such outstanding beauty and class, she will never wear a, a waistband around her neck, no. It was not in real life. My eyes were open. My inner eyes were open and I was seeing beyond the physical. I strongly believe that she has something to do with that same evil Jigida that kept me down for years. Yes. Your Majesty, I brought you into this strong room where we kept all the powers we inherited from our ancestors. All the powers that make you relevant are here. And I know you will not tell me lies. I am expecting you to tell me the truth. Where did you get that woman? And why were you in such a hurry to detail others to perfect a bright prize without even mentioning it to me, Your Majesty? The woman in question is already my queen. I am not happy that you have brought me here to discuss her. Your Majesty, I am sorry, but I want to remind you that you were the one that made the declaration alone. But I have reason to believe that you may have been hypnotized. Hypnotized? What nonsense. I am the king. Now, how could you have thought someone hypnotized me? By who? You do not look good. What is the problem? Your Majesty. I had a terrible dream last night. All about you. And I'm very bothered. I want us to deal with it. May I hear this dream? Your Majesty, I saw you getting married to a very strange woman with four eyes. Two in the front, two at the back. She was a terrible woman. And you refused to tell anybody where you got such a terrible woman from. Eventually you were showing her the kind of love you never showed anybody, you never even showed your wife. Ultimately, that strange woman with four eyes destroyed this kingdom because I saw her practically urinating on your head. And I, and I woke up and it was a dream, Your Majesty. A dream is business. For I have no woman in my life. The only woman in my life now is my daughter, the princess. And she is sick, which is my concern now. Besides, I will not bring any woman into my life now because such woman will stand between my children and I. Your Majesty, can I take what you just said as a royal promise from the king? Can I? Yes, most definitely. This is the promise I made today, the 20th day of April, 1990. You can hold on to that. Your Majesty, do you still remember the promise you made me on the 20th of April, 1990? Well, whatever promise that was made in 1990 has been overtaken by events. Our name is Nkeruka, which means that which is ahead is bigger and better. Now let's look into the future and stop worrying about what happened in the past. Oh, you're awake. My 
my king. You left me here alone. No, no, no. I, I can never leave you alone. No, no, because the, the sun rises in your eyes. And, and I tell you, I know you are the future of this kingdom. How is a wise man for my son? Ah, uh, Omezu. Oh, yes, uh, Omezu is busy making incredible decisions for this kingdom. But, but something we forget sometimes is that he is a sorcerer. I admitted into this palace due to his noble qualities. My king, you sound as if you'll fall out with him someday. No, 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 not at all. Uh, his life and my life are tied together. And uh, we, we, there's no possibility of us falling out uh, with one another, you know. Uh, but we may disagree here and there with one thing or another, but we almost always immediately come back together and agree. Oh, but I can tell you, Omezu is a noble man of this land. He is. What makes you think I'll be comfortable with a liar hanging around me? Watch your tongue! Watch your tongue! You have no right whatsoever to call me a liar! You! You lied your way into the heart of the prince. You have bewitched them with your witchcraft, I know. And I ask you, what do you want from their land? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this possibly why you woke me up and brought me to this corner? Why? Why, my friend? Are you such a terrible, terrible royal walker? If you must know, the prince now sees me as a partner. That's why he wants me to come along. <laughs> By the way, I don't know why you're asking very useless questions. Well, you can laugh all you want. I know this. I do not talk too much. One day, I will prove that you are a wizard. And when I do, I will kill you with this sword. 
this sword that's already housing two powers that are independently bigger than witchcraft and sorcery. And mark these words. Anyone I kill with this sword on account of witchcraft or sorcery will not be buried. I will call upon the vultures of Abomini to feed on your evil cops. Then you must kill, you must kill that young man. He has guts in his sword. We cannot kill that young man. He has link with the almighty Omer Abba Leave that young man alone and concentrate with what you are doing. When we finally destroy the king and take over the kingdom, we will place him where he should be. Things did not gel in my thoughts. Why was Dad in such a hurry to settle down with the woman? At least he could have waited for my brother to return. She was the first person to come to the kitchen this morning. To do what? She came to tell the cook what she would eat. And guess what? She shocked the cook with her choice of breakfast. I mean, she, she wants something extremely heavy. And the cook was like, how can such a lady want something extremely heavy in the morning? I don't know. I just pray we get to discover who this woman is. Before it becomes too late, I just pray. Yeah, I pray so too. So, what would you like to eat? Don't worry, I don't want to eat anything. If I'm hungry, Whatever the cook serves, I'll eat. Okay, well, please calm your nerves. Your days are numbered. You outlawed sorcery because you think you have other means of sustaining yourself. You banished witchcraft because you want to please your children. I am going to prove to you that you are nothing without sorcery and the witchcraft. Yes, who is there? The royal cook. Please open the door. A moment, please. Queen like you demanded for pandedium and bitterly soup for breakfast. The breakfast is ready on the royal dining table, but I'm yet to come to 
times with the contrast. You are a fool. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but pounded yam for breakfast is strange. Get out of my sight. Please don't be angry with me. Please. I'm sorry. Were it not for him, I would have been a dead man. He saved my life. So I brought him back home for real blessing. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, Your Majesty. And you're quite right. He deserved to be blessed. So what would you have me do for you? To be very honest, Your Majesty, I am deeply satisfied just being close to you. This very experience of seeing the great Eze Abalanze face to face. Oh, thank my stars. It's one I will cherish for the remaining days of my life. Father, bless this man. He already told me he wants to serve you. He holds you in high esteem because of the way you dealt with witchcraft in our land. I think he will be a fulfilled man if he is allowed to serve you. Well, the man who saved the prince's life can save the king's life. Oh, yes. And he's qualified to serve in the palace. I have no objections to that. Omezu. Your Majesty. Any objections? The prince has already granted him access before your royal presence. Sincerely, I have no objections. Very well. Nail before the king. May the girls of Abomemi bless you and your sojourn in our land be prosperous. Anything with her. Can I hear exactly what you want to say? We must be very careful with that man. I have reason to believe he is an evil schemer. Let me hear your reason. He came together with the man who attacked the prince. I believe they planned the attack together. The man was about to pull the trigger on the prince from his hidden position when I ended him with the knife on the waist of the guard. I did this with the powers of imagination that I have. Are you actually telling me you were the one that killed the man? Exactly. I decided to keep quiet when the prince was asking who saved him. And then that liar came forward and claimed he did. So why didn't you tell me this before you went to see the king? I felt he would be intimidated by the presence of the king. I am surprised he remained calm and sustained his lies. We must unmask him. We must unmask him before he destroys something important. My biggest problem right now is that I can no longer unmask anything. The great Omelabo of Abomeme is no longer living in his original abode, and that is a big problem for me. But I think you are the one we are going to guide. You are the one that will unmask what is happening around here. I am sorry, sir, but I do not understand you. I cannot unmask anything. Of course, you can't. But I'm going to guide you to meet Omelabo of Abomeme. Omelabo is the great masquerade of Abomeme people. You will meet with Omelabo, and he is going to unmask what is happening around here. I want you to understand that this is a very delicate issue. 
I understand all your fears. But we must realize that our father has already married her. So we don't have any other option than to accept her as his wife. There's something I'm very sure of, which you must verify. The woman our father married is not ordinary. Why do you say that? I have this belief that she's a witch. Yes, she has a connection with the evil Jigida that I wore for years that almost destroyed me. Every time I see her, I see the evil Jigida hang around her neck. It could be possible that you're imagining these things just because you hate her. I'm very sorry, Odilibe, but you have to realize that you are my last hope. I love father very much, and I don't want him to die now. No, nothing will happen to him. I love him too. Nothing. If that evil woman destroys our father, this land is destroyed, and we will become subject of mockery everywhere. Think about it. Women know themselves. She must have seen something. Adana cannot be ignored. We have tried in the past to gain access into this room, but it never worked. This is where all the powers in this kingdom are kept. Inside this room, Lies the secrets of formation. Try and gain access into the secret safe and try to exhume some powers. Get down to work. You have limited time. Next time you feel like cleaning any place in this palace, exclude this room. I am not ever comfortable with anybody coming into this room without my consent. Get out. Very well taken, sir. I promise it will never happen again. Get out! Thank you. 
talk to me. Why is he speaking in no tones? Did you reveal anything to this stranger? I want to know. You're looking at me, and it is clear you do not like me. Why would you choose to hate someone that has done you no wrong? There was an evil Jigida. That one witch named Mma used the face of my late mother to give to my sister as a lifetime gift. This Jigida nearly destroyed her life. Do you know anything about this evil wasteband? Ah, oh, I am new in this palace. Believe me, I do not know much that has been happening before my arrival. Some people that have more seen powers than I say that whenever they look at you, they see that evil Jigida hanging around your neck. How can you say you don't know anything about what is hanging around your neck? these people that are trying to associate me with evil. I asked you a question. You have not answered me. I will ask you again. Do you know anything about this strange chicky that had nearly destroyed my sister? All my life, I have never worn chicky Because I never liked it. Look, I do not know anything about your Jigida. And I will appreciate it so much if you leave me now. I'm the prince of this kingdom. And the heir apparent to the throne. You will not make any headway without me. Tell me what I want to hear. Odilibe, prince of Abo Mimi kingdom. I do not know what you want to hear from me, and I cannot tell you what I do not know. Prince Odilibe of Abomimi Kingdom. Why are you digging your own grave? Why? Amam inene no manya omelabo. Bota kigo si muzo mo. Asi gite kwa bobo di ne me pie. Ndi amu sunandi me biji siote. Obodo ni le na juzi anya jojo Kedo eba nyi si me fie no obodo Pota ki go si muzo mwo Pota ki go si ndi gozo Pota ki go si muzo mwo Pota Go Cindy goes on. I humble myself before the great Omelabo of Abomini. 
great one. We understand you left Abomey a long time ago. In the event of your exit, too many things have gone wrong. The land is in disarray, as witchcraft and sorcery now dominate the hearts of men. So I have come to seek your direction, Great One. Please, what do we do? There are two powers that already gain ground in the palace. There is the male power. And there is the female power. They appear to be different, but they are the same. You must unmask the male before you go for the female. Great one. I want to ask you, is the male one and the same as Anele and the female one and the same as Nkiru? Their target is the destruction of our Mimi. They have gained ground. The land is destroyed. When the king is destroyed, and the destruction of the king is very imminent. Unmask the male before the female. Do this before it becomes too late. Thank you, Great One. I'm sorry to say this. How can you marry a lady that you know little or nothing about her background? And who says I know nothing about her background? She's from Abuanabo. And the elders that I sent to her family told me and they confirmed that she's from a great and noble family. Look, how dare you speak evil of a woman that your father loves so much and who cherishes your father so much? Your Majesty, she has a connection with the evil Jigida that nearly destroyed Adana. Send her away, please. Listen to me. Send her away before she settles. Well, you are judging my queen based on what your sister told you. That is unacceptable. It is not. And that's not good for you. A man who will one day become a king. Your judgment should be based on facts. Everyone in this palace sees this lady as evil. As a time bomb waiting to explode. You are the only one that sees that lady as a noble woman. And with all due respect, I disagree with you, your majesty. Well, now, let this be the last time you will discuss my queen. But, ah, that's my queen. Always ravishing. Ravishing and lovely. Your Majesty. I bless you, dear Your Majesty. Your presence is where I always want to be. You're welcome, my presence, my dear. You're quite welcome. Thank you. Relax. We were just in a uh, in a family meeting, and it's good you are here for your family. <laughs> your Majesty, I'm sorry. Um, she's not part of the discussion we have, so she cannot be part of this meeting. 
Why not? It is part of the family. She is part of the family. And we're discussing family issues. You made her part of this family without consulting anybody. So Adana and I have refused to recognize her as part of this family. You may continue with that. My king. Hmm. I don't know where I've gone wrong. Look, my king, I have plans for this land. I know. And it cannot work out like this if your son is against me. But why worry about my son? I am the man you're in love with. I am the man you married. Uh -huh. I should be your concern. Hmm? Just keep loving me and all will be well. Hmm? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Unacceptable to me. What are you doing in my room? Everything was on reverse. People were running with their backs and not their fronts. What does that mean? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Who gave you this bottle and what does it do for you? It contains the seed of reverse. Find how to put it in the ancient safe of Abomimi. Once it is done, the kingdom will permanently be on reverse. The king will destroy himself and die. Then we can return to our land. This mission is very crucial to us. Make no mistakes. Do not make any mistake. I understand the importance of this mission. I shall not disappoint. Mm. Your countenance betrays you. It is obvious you are hiding. I ask again, where did you get this bottle and what does it do for you? This bottle is my property. I don't want you ever coming in my room searching my things. Oh. Well, you remember. 
remember what I told you. I will unmask you. And when I finally do, I will call upon the vultures of Abomime to feed on your evil cops. Remember that. into your privacy. But I have to say something. I think you have judged that woman wrongly. By that woman, are you referring to Nkiru? Yes, your highness. Sit down. What makes you think so? Your Highness. That woman is not a problem in this palace. She is not the problem. She... I, I can categorically tell you that she is... She is a saint. Yes, a saint. If I can save this land, is that that Bushman called Enini? He is the true problem in this palace. And if you sincerely want this problem to be solved, then you must, Your Highness, you must send him away from this land. Our problems with Enemy are quite alright, but I can hardly believe that he's the problem in this land. Why would you wish to exonerate that woman? Fine. I'll tell you something about Enemy. This enemy of the kingdom came into this land with a curse. A curse that is reversing everything we do here. This, this hideous charm was manufactured in Maisie. And the single purpose of this charm is to make this kingdom as backward as in Maisie. If you really want this charm to be destroyed, Your Highness, then you must banish, banish in any. Very serious. Are you sure of what you're saying? Certainly, Your Highness. Certainly. The, the only obstacle we might encounter is the fact that uh, that wise Omiso has come to trust this enemy so much. That, that poor woman you have tagged evil. No, 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 no. She's not evil at all. She's not evil. She, she was only trying to make the palace lively by making the king happy. She is completely harmless. Your Highness, if you hate her, you hate her for nothing. Kigo si muzo 
asigiche kwa bobo dine me pie Ndia mosu nandi me bijisi oche Obodo nile na juzi anya jojo Kedo eba nyisi me fie no bodo Pota kigo si muzo muo Pota kigo si ndigo zo Do you know why I called you here? No, why is one? You know, it is clear to me you've made up your mind to seduce the prince. May I know why? I'm sorry, wise one, but I don't know what you mean by seduce the prince. Was it because of the dance? You call it dance? Listen to me. I was the one that ended the so-called dance. And I know exactly what I saw before I ended it up. Do not ever be the one that will throw yourself at the prince. Wait for the prince to be the one that will come for you. It is the prince himself who has always been inviting me to dance for him. I have never entered his room uninvited. In the deepest part of your heart, you know exactly what I am saying. I called you here to remind you that here in a bomb in the kingdom, women do not throw themselves at men because they know it is sacrilegious for them to do so. They wait for the men to come for them. You are free to go dancing for the prince when you are called to do so. But let it be just dance. Do not smuggle in any strange steps into it. Use your beauty to edify this palace. To sanctify this place. Not to destroy what we have, the sanctity we've managed to put in place. Why is the wise one reading meanings into my innocent downstairs? Why? Substance is the only thing that can save you. Uh, save me from what, Great One? This plot against you is deadly. Sprinkle it along the way that you are sure he would use. Once he steps. Into the sprinkled zone, you shall discover the man behind the man. What about the woman? Unmask the man first. Once you reveal the man behind the man, the woman behind the woman would be no Thank you, Great One. May I know why? I never said I hate you. There is something weird about you that no one knows. I am a woman like you. Confide in me. What is your mission in this palace? You should know that I am your stepmother. 
and that you should accord me with the respect of a mother. I take that as an insult to my mother and a deliberate attempt to provoke me. You are not my mother because you are a strange woman. My mother was a noble woman. Are you indirectly saying that I am not a noble woman? In Kiruka or whatever they call you, I am not comfortable with your presence in my room. Your presence scares me. Please don't come to my room again. I am trying everything possible to become your friend. But you are raising war against me. I am wondering why you look innocent yet wicked. There is something about you that you are hiding from everyone in this palace. But my brother and I will find out. Why do you find it difficult to believe me? Trace the origin of all the Chryseids in this palace and you will discover that all of them started with the emergence of Enenyewit. I want you to banish that man before he reverses us back to their primitive level in Imezi. My prince, with all due respect, I'm going to tell you that presently we have two evil powers residing in this palace, doing everything possible to destroy the king and the land. The first is in Kiru, the strange woman the king married without discussing with anybody. Then the second is Anel, the spy you brought back with you. I disagree with you. I disagree completely. I have personally traced the origin of all these problems. And they all started with saying in here. Okay. This bottle will unmask the man behind the man. And once we unmask the man, the woman would be easy. Which man are you talking about? I have been working with the great Omelabo of Abomini. And we are on the verge of solving the problems in this land. What is he talking about? Who told him about Omelabo? And how can he possibly be working with them? My prince, I know you. You are an intelligent man of this kingdom. And you understood exactly what he said. He has been working closely with the great Omelabo all in an effort to save this land. He is not our problem. We have to be mature and face our problem. Are you telling me that you have been working with the great Omelabo for real? Yes, my prince. I am just coming from his presence. He instructed me. He said I should sprinkle this on the way Aniele would use. And once he crosses the spot, the true man behind his mission will be revealed. I will only believe when I see you. What do we do? You must be very careful because the almighty Omelapo is now talking with a stranger from Imezi. I have not been able to hear what they are saying or planning, but I know that they are planning our destruction. You must be very careful of what you served before you eat. And you must be very careful of where you were asked to enter. Before you step in, to be forewarned, to be forearmed. <clears throat> the 
does it mean you will never stop being a bushman? An archaic bastard! Why would you enter someone's room without announcing your presence? At least by knocking! Forgive me. Why is Amesi wants to see you for something very important? He asks that you come with me. Listen, at, at least you, 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 you're bursting on me in the middle of something. Uh, give me two minutes. Let me round off what I was doing. This matter brothers on the future of this kingdom and it is way bigger than whatever rubbish you are doing in the comfort of your room. If you are sure you are here to serve this kingdom, then you must come with me now. Turns out that Anele is a spy sent to destroy this land. I will kill him myself. Your Highness, you don't have to kill anybody. His own evil shall find him out. Planning evil against me. What are you up to? I'm not planning anything. Greater mess you sent for you. Move. Very V. I'll take another route to him. Confess your mission here. In my face. Me, me, 
Keep on fighting 